So in this problem, we're told a car traveling 85 kilometers per hour slows down at a constant 0.5 meters per second squared just by letting up on the gas. So we're told to calculate a bunch of things. The first thing we're supposed to do is find the distance the car coasts before it stops, then the time it takes to stop, and then finally the distance it travels during the first and fifth seconds. So let's go ahead and start with A. But first what we should do is find what we're given and write it out. So given, so what are we given? Well, we're told the car is traveling 85 kilometers per hour, and then it, st or it starts slowing down, uh, slowing down at a constant rate, right? So its initial velocity, which we represent by v sub zero, is going to be 85 kilometers per hour, right? Because this is its speed right before it slows down. And then we're told it's slowing down at a constant uh, 0.5 meters per second squared. So that's going to be our acceleration, right? You can tell by uh, the units given, and we're just slowing down at a constant rate. So acceleration is going to be minus 0.5 meters per second squared. And the reason it's minus is because we're slowing down. So it's going to be negative. And then what else are we given? Uh, we're given that the car is slowing down, right? So we're trying to find, um, for A, the distance before it stops. So we're trying to find when it stops. And whenever you're doing a problem with it stops, you know that the final velocity is just going to be 0. Because we're trying to find when it stops. Uh, and at the end, it's stopping, right? So when something stopped, it's traveling at zero meters per second, right? Because it's not moving at all. So let's do A now. A says to find the distance, right? So we're trying to find distance. So what we need to find is delta x for the first one, which is just the change in position or the distance. Um, so let's go ahead and find it. So what we need to do first is the tricky thing about this problem is they give you kilometers per hour, but then in acceleration, uh, they give you meters. So what we need to do is convert this 85 kilometers per hour into uh, meters per second. So it's like a little bit of a trick. So if we have 85 kilometers per hour, in order to change it, what we need to do is uh, change these. So in order to get kilometers into meters, you multiply by 1,000. So 1,000 meters for every one kilometer, and then that'll cancel. And now it's going to be meters on top. And then what we got to do is get the hour to become seconds. So if I have one hour is 60 minutes, and this H is going to cancel. And then one minute is the same thing as 60 seconds. So those are going to cancel. And then all we got to do is just multiply across. So it's going to be 85 times 1,000 uh, times 1 over 60 times 1 over 60. If you go ahead and do this, what you're going to get is 23 Point six one, and then keep in mind that this is velocity, right? So it's going to be meters per second. So we're going to change the 85 kilometers per hour into 23.61 meters per second because you have to have the same units for your problem. So this is going to be 23.61 meters per second. And so now that we've got it this way, we can actually solve for delta x. So which equation are we going to use? Well, keep in mind and look at what we're given. We're given, or notice that we're not given time for the first one. So 1 through 3 all require time. And so we don't have time, so we're not going to use any of these three. This is the only one that doesn't have time, so you're going to use that one to solve uh, for delta x. So let's just plug in the variables. v squared, we have v is 0. So 0 squared equals v sub 0. And so keep in mind, we just change it to 23.61. So it's going to be 23.61 squared plus 2 times A, which is minus 0.5 times delta X. And so we're trying to find delta X. So 2 times minus 0.5 is the same thing as minus 1. So it's just going to be minus delta X. And so we should move the delta X to the other side. And then all we have to do is square this to get delta x. So delta x equals 23.61 squared. So delta x is going to be, if you calculate this out, 557.43. You can round however you want or however you're told to. I'm just going to round to the whole number. So 557 and then delta x. Keep in mind we're using meters. So it's going to be meters. So 557 meters. That's going to be your answer to A. Uh, yeah, so let's move on to B. So B is the time it takes to stop. So I'm going to write 
delta x here actually so delta x is 557.43 the new round however you want meters per second so b is the time it takes to stop so that's what we're trying to find next and so which equation do we want to use so you can use whatever you want you want because we're given uh all the variables except for time right or what we're solving for time so you can really use any equation uh, i think the easiest one to use would be number one because we're given v uh, we're given v sub zero and we're given a so time's gonna be pretty easy so let's go ahead and use the first one so v equals v sub zero plus at so v is going to be zero so zero equals v sub zero which is 23.61 plus a and so a is minus 0.5 times t so it's just going to be minus 0.5 t and so what we want to do is uh, add the 0.5 to the other side. So we're going to get 0.5t equals 23.61. And then what you can do is divide by 0.5 to get the t by itself. t equals 23.61 divided by 0.5, which is 47.22. And then we can round however we want. You can round to the whole number. So And then keep in mind it's seconds right meters per second seconds so 47 seconds is going to be the time it takes for uh, to stop which is going to be for b so time is going to be 47 seconds to stop that's b and now all we have to do is c so let me erase this so we're doing c right so c is the distance it travels during the first and fifth seconds so the way you want to think about this is um we're trying to find the distance it travels during the first and fifth seconds right so in order to do that, what you're going to want to do is use one of the formulas with time and just plug in, uh, you're going to try and find, or let's just start with the first one. So how far it travels during the first second. Uh, what we're going to do is just plug in one for T because that's how far it travels during the first second, right? So four and one don't have time. Uh, so we're, or four doesn't have time, so we can't use that one. And the first one doesn't have a change in distance. And that's what we're trying to find. So it can't be that one. And then keep in mind that this has acceler or has an acceleration right so we're going to be using three to solve so let's go ahead and do that so delta x is what we're trying to find so delta x equals v sub zero times t so v sub zero we know is 23.61 and then we're t we plug in the how far we're traveling or the distance during whatever so we got to find the distance during the first second so we're doing that one first, so first second, so times t, right? Plus one half times a. A is going to be minus 0.5. And then t squared. So just one squared, right? First second. So one squared is one. Uh, and then one half times minus 0.5 is minus one over four times one. So we've got minus. 0.25 so delta x equals 23.61 minus 0.25 if you go ahead and do that you should get 23.36 uh, and then this is delta x right so meters how far it travels in the first second and then you can round however you want just say 23 round to the whole number so it travels 23 meters in the first second so that's going to be the first part of c um, so yeah that's going to be the first part so 23 meters but let's do the next one so during the first and fifth seconds so now what we want to do is find how far it travels during the fifth seconds so we're going to do it a similar way by just by plugging in uh, five into our equation instead so so during the fifth second uh, so delta x equals v sub zero which is 23.61 And then, so keep in mind, we're trying how far it travels in the fifth second, right? So if we have like a number line, I think that's the best way to imagine it. The fifth second is from four second to the fifth second. So what we need to do is find the distance it travels. Well, you can do this many ways, but the way I recommend is just by finding the distance traveled from zero to five, finding the distance traveled from zero to four. And then if you subtract them, right, uh, you're going to get the distance in between. That's all you're finding. The way the other one worked was easier was because... We're just doing it to zero. So during the first second is from zero to one. 
And that's what made the last one easier is because we didn't have to calculate two different things. But for this one, we will. So what we need to do is find this, the distance traveled during the fifth and fourth second and subtract. So let's go ahead and start with the fourth second. So delta x equals, we're just trying to find the distance from zero to four in this case. So 23.61, right? We're using the same exact equation. 23.61 times four. And then what you're gonna wanna do is plus one half times minus 0.5 times four squared. And so one half times minus 0.5 is minus one over four times four squared, which is 16. That's just gonna give you a minus four. So 23.61 times four is equal to 94.44. And then this is minus four, right? So minus four, it's gonna give you 90.44 uh, meters. So we're gonna have to save this, right? So 90.44, so delta x during like the first four seconds. So I'm just gonna call it x sub four is equal to 90.44 meters. And now what we need to find is the distance traveled during the fifth second. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, delta x, it's gonna be the same thing except for we're plugging in a five, right? Because this finds the distance between zero and whatever second we plug in. So delta x equals 23.61 times five uh, plus one half times minus 0.5 times five squared. And so 23.61 times five is gonna give you 118.05. Uh, this is gonna give you 25 times minus 0.5. So half of 25 times one half uh, I'm just going to write it as 25 over 4, right? So this is, right, 0.5 times 1 half is just 1 over 4. And then we're multiplying by 25. So 25 over 4. When you go ahead and do this, 118.05 minus 25 over 4 should give you 111.81. Uh, and this is going to be in meters again. So this is the distance traveled from 0 to 5 seconds. So... 111.81 meters. So we're trying to find the distance between these two. So what we need to do is subtract. So 111.81 minus 90.44. So when you do this, you should get that it equals 21.36 uh, meters. Round however you want. Uh, I'm going to round to the whole number. So 21 meters. So this right here is going to be the distance between uh, or during the fifth second. So that's going to be your answer for the final one. And that's how you solve this problem.